Hello and welcome to a fresh new edition of Creative Picks. I'm Ritvika Gupta and this week I'll be reviewing marketing campaigns by American Tourista, Live Serial and Adidas. Let's quickly get started. You might have seen American Tourista's new ad featuring cricketer Virat Kohli titled Go Swag Packing. But have you seen the hashtag Go Swag Packing go all over Instagram lately? Well, yes, American Tourista has taken hashtag Swag Pack to the next level with this new marketing stunt. If you just search hashtag Go Swag Pack on Instagram or any other social media platforms, you'll come across a number of digital videos that use a new camera technique. These are built around the emerging 3D technique uh, known as Tiny Planet, which turns a panorama image into a stunning miniature world. In addition to Virat, the brand has other celebrities like Pariniti Chopra, Tiger Shroff and many influencers globetrotting on social media. Swag packing with American Tourister. The campaign is all about exploring the world and living life to its fullest. And it works for its new range of uh, hashtag swag packs, as they like to call it. I like the fact that brands are now using technology and newer ways to appeal to their target audience. The campaign's visual language is something different. I was totally intrigued. Overall, the campaign appears fashionable and adventurous. I think it will appeal to everyone who loves traveling. Great going. Live Cereal, which is owned by the Quaker Oats Company, a subsidiary of PepsiCo, is running a contest to help the brand find the next kid to include in its next advertising campaign. The campaign will pitch the cereal as a healthy breakfast option that is liked by parents and kids alike. The brand is seeking kids with acting skills, the ability to articulate clearly and convincingly, and natural on-camera presence. Parents can bring their kids between the ages of 4 and 8 to an in-person casting call at one of the given uh, five Walmart locations or upload a video of the child reading a script at livecastingcontest.com. You can send your entries by April 27th. Finalists will be announced in May and up to three kids will receive a trip to Los Angeles to audition for the part in person. You know, I think this may sound like an old-fashioned idea, like to conduct a contest to reach out to consumers, but I feel if you're reaching out to consumers to help find the new face of your campaign, you can really build buzz and interest even before the campaign's launch. Just think about it, people are already talking about live cereals contests even before the spots are on TV. Kids will be all the more ready to eat live cereal. And when you register for the contest, parents must share some personal details which provides the brand with more customer data that could be useful for other marketing initiatives down the road. Overall, like I said, it's an effective way to generate brand buzz and encourage social sharing. Adidas recently signed popular artist Beyonce as a creative brand partner and also announced that she would relaunch Ivy Park with the brand, which had previously been sold through Topshop. For those who are not aware, Ivy Park is an activewear clothing brand co-founded by Beyonce. So this new partnership with Adidas will include co-creation of new products as well as a purpose-driven program focused on empowering and enabling the next generation of athletes and creators and leaders. Well, high-profile partnerships are nothing new for the brand. Be it Beyonce or Kanye West, the company has landed two of the most iconic artists of the day. These kind of partnerships are part of what's driving the popularity of the sneaker market, a big piece of the athleisure movement in general. And Adidas's focus on hip-hop might serve to differentiate it from some of its competitors. Looking forward to see how this collaboration with Beyonce pans out for the brand. That's a wrap on this episode of Creative Picks. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is ritz.com. And for your weekly dose of ad reviews, keep watching Creative Picks. I'll see you next week.